Hi, it's Patrice. I'm back. Um, I decided to do a video on small victories. Um, little things that people who haven't had weight on them might not um, appreciate day to day and things that are happening for me and for the people that seem like really, really big things when they happen. And um, so my list is number one being able to get up out of those plastic resin <laughs> um, chairs in the summer, you know, around like tables or whatever, the white ones, you know, you know the one I'm talking about. Being able to get up out of that without taking it with me, big victory. <laughs> Nothing worse than trying to get up and having the chair stuck to your butt. <laughs> um, number two, um, being able to fit comfortably into the auditorium seats at my kids' school. A year ago, I'll tell you a story, a year ago I went to um, a concert for my daughter and I was so uncomfortable because I, I physically hurt sitting in the chair. I had to shove myself in it and I had bruises for about a week and a half on my hips afterwards from trying to fit into that chair so I wouldn't be completely horrified and embarrassed because I had nowhere to sit because I couldn't fit. So recently at Christmas time I went to her holiday concert and I was very nervous about going and sitting in the chair and I sat down and I went right into it and I wasn't stuck and I wasn't uncomfortable and no bruises! Yay me! Uh, number three, I actually like to go shopping for clothes. Um, <laughs> Last time I went shopping, um, when I put on a size 22-24 and a size 22 at the time, jeans, I did the happy dance in the dressing room, and it's a good thing no one could see me because I looked pretty silly, but I was jumping around and squealing. Yeah, I'm sure I got a few looks directed at my dressing room. <laughs> um, number four, I look in mirrors that show me more than just here. Up. I will actually look in a mirror full length and turn and look and I never used to do that. Um, I avoided mirrors at all cost, would not look in them, um, hated going clothes shopping because I hated to have to look in the full length mirror. So I tend, I, I used to tend to buy a lot of elastic waistband, sweats type of clothes before. Um, because they'd expand when I gained weight and it kept me from having to shop as often because I just didn't want to deal with it. I don't own even one new pair of elastic waists, anything, and I refuse to buy them now. So all the stuff that I own as elastic waist is old, except for one pair of pajamas, flannel, bottoms that I love. So, um, my stomach doesn't touch the steering wheel when I drive. Now, I'm a tall girl, and so I have long legs, and I need to be away from the steering wheel, and even with being away from the stereo, steering wheel to accommodate my legs, my stomach used to touch the steering wheel. Now I've got about this much room in between the steering wheel and my tummy. Yay! Okay. My daughter's looking at me. <laughs> um, also... Uh, along the same thing of theme of cars, the seat belt in the car isn't tight on me anymore. In fact, just the other day, I thought I hadn't buckled in because I couldn't feel it, and I actually had to look down and check to see if I had it on, and I did. It's because it's loose. So that's, that's another one. Uh, next one, I'm in a size that in a size clothing that I have not been in in 16 years. Year 16! Yeah, I said 16, one six. Very exciting. I can bend over and tie my shoes without feeling like my breathing is being constricted. You know that, like your lung function is completely cut off when you bend over and try and tie your shoe? Not a fun, not a good thing, not a fun feeling, very embarrassing, break out in sweat, face red by the time you get up from tying your shoes. That doesn't happen anymore. Not at all. I can bend over, tie my shoe, and get right back up and I don't look like I just jogged a marathon. Um, 
I can walk from my desk at work all the way to the D parking lot, which is kind of a hike, without getting out of breath. I remember last year at this time, I would walk from my desk all the way out to the parking lot to my car and I would be winded and trying not to act winded and I would get behind the wheel and shut my door and then be like oh, oh, you know like nope not anymore not breaking a sweat not out, of breath, not out of breath at all yay so exciting now um last one at Christmas time my baby brother who just turned 30 love you Jocko um hugged me and he got his arms all the way around me. I almost cried. Yeah, he did. He told me how amazing I look. He hadn't seen me in a long time. And he got his arms all the way around me. And I just about cried. It was awesome. So, and he's a big guy. He's 6'3". And uh, he never used to really be able to get his arms around all, you know, all the way and comfortably. And give me a big squeeze. And it felt so awesome, I'm telling you. It felt so good. So, those are my small victories, and um, aside from that, I do have other ones that, you know, I'm looking forward to. Like, I have not flown in an airplane since my kids were little, and I know that I weighed more than I do right now, but I don't know by how much, and the last time I flew, you know, I had my kids next to me and they were little so I was able to put the armrest up in between us to you know so I'd have more room and I had to ask for a seatbelt extender and I know that many of you have had to do that and it is really mortifying it's embarrassing who wants to ask for that so I'm hoping that by the meet and greet when I have to get on a plane I'm already having major major anxiety over this I'm hoping to have lost enough weight that I cannot impose on the person next to me's like space and that I don't need to ask for a seatbelt extender. I think that might be asking a little too much at this point because two months is, you know, it's kind of close and, you know, I still am in the 200s, so I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, but I really, really, really don't want to have to, I don't want to be uncomfortable the whole flight there feeling like the person next to me is giving me the dirty, the hairy eyeball because I'm kind of um, invading their space. Um, another goal uh, of this small victory for me will be um, able to being able to walk um, two miles without being completely out of breath. And I haven't tested that yet. I haven't. I don't have a treadmill, and it's obviously snowy as you saw in my last video. And I haven't been able to get out walking. It's been freezing, and we've had a snowstorm like. We've had snow every week since before Christmas, so um, I haven't really been able to test that out. So I may be able to do it, or I may be close to doing it, but I'm not sure yet, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, other than that, um, I scanned a picture. It's a Polaroid. Um, well, I tried to scan it. I ended up having to take a picture of it with my daughter's camera. My scanner does, it isn't compatible with Vista, which is my laptop. So... I can't use my printer scanner to scan any pictures, so on my wish list of things to buy is a new printer scanner. So I do have a picture I took a picture of, and hopefully it will show up on here, I'll put it at the end, um, of me before, and um, I can't even tell you what my weight was, but I was close to 394 or maybe even a little bit over. I really don't know because at that time I was doing the avoidance of scales. So um, I will stand up here away from this camera so you can see the full body me and then I will add the picture that I took a picture of after that. So um, that is it for now and um, if I get bored again from the snow, it's a three day week and I have tomorrow off too, I will maybe make another one. So until then, bye!